Let's imagine we had a discrete dynamical system for, let's say, the growth of a population. So P sub t is the size of a population in time t. So we would have P sub t plus 1 minus P sub t. That's a change in the population. Well, let's say it's some constant r, growth rate parameter, times P sub t times the population. But let's imagine we're subtracting off or harvesting a, an amount h in each time step. So let's look for equilibria of this discrete dynamical system. So an equilibrium is the value of the state variables where they don't change. So for example, if the value of the state variable p sub t is some equilibrium, so let's call that e, it's just a number, the equilibrium size. So if this value e is an equilibrium, then the idea is that the population size doesn't change, or the state variables don't change. So here, p sub t plus 1 is also equal to e, and the next time step, p sub t plus 2, is also equal to this number e, etc. So that's the idea of, a, of an equilibrium, is the state variable just stays at the value of the equilibrium. Okay, for this equation here, let's look for the equilibrium. Let's look for the case where p sub t is the same as p sub t plus 1. They're all equal to e. So what we'll do is we'll just replace all the state variables with the equilibrium value e. So we have p sub t plus 1, well that's e, minus p sub t, well that's e again, is equal to r times p sub t, or e, minus h. Okay, that means we have 0 equals r times e minus h, or e equals h divided by r. For this dynamical system, there's one equilibrium. It's e equals h over r. And you can verify, if you plug in h over r for all the p's here, you can see that this dynamical system is satisfied. The idea of an equilibrium is a fundamental concept in dynamical systems. We are going to use the concept of an equilibrium over and over again as we study dynamical systems. Let's try another example. Again, we'll think of the growth of a population, so pt plus 1 minus p sub t is some growth rate, again as before. This time, let's imagine we are subtracting off a quantity that's proportional to p sub t with a proportionality constant b. Okay, what does an equilibrium mean? We need some value e that we're going to substitute for all the state variables. So we'll plug that into here. And when we do that, we again get e minus e on the left-hand side equals r times e, or p sub t, minus b times p sub t, or b times e. We have 0 equals e times r minus b. This equation has the product of two factors equal to 0, so we know it, the equation has two solutions, where either factor could be 0. So we could have e equals 0, or r minus b equals 0. Or in other words, e equals 0, or r equals b. What does this result mean? In the first case, we can see that e equals 0, or population size of 0, is always in equilibrium. No matter the value of either of the parameters, r or b, we always know that having no individuals in the population is an equilibrium. What about this other equation? What does this mean? If it happens to be that the parameters are chosen so that r equals b, then any value of e is an equilibrium. Let's think about this a little further. 
So let's imagine we have r equals b. Then the dynamical system, well, it just becomes p t plus 1 minus p sub t equals 0. This is a dynamical system that says the value of p sub t in the next time step is the same as the previous time step. There's no change. This implies the system never changes. In other words, this case here is pretty boring. Nothing ever happens. No matter what we choose for the initial conditions, the system will always sit there and never change. The equilibrium E equals zero is a little more interesting. It makes sense for a model of population growth. It says that if you start with nobody, then no one is born. That makes a lot of sense. We aren't modeling any individuals of the population being dropped off by a spacecraft or anything. So if nobody's there, we'll stay that way. E equals zero in equilibrium. 